What's good, y'all? It's Bull Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out John Cena on Roman Reigns' secret to success. Now, uh, a lot of you guys uh, was liking the last uh, clip where he was uh, talking about, uh, you know, pretty much uh, keeping it real with Austin Theory on his uh, promo segment, you know, preheating my guy before he served him up to the masses. But, you know, he was trying to, you know, pretty much give him some uh, some veteran advice on not being afraid to fail when it comes to promos and, and being, you know, trying to get your character over. So I want to definitely hear what he has to say about Roman Reigns and and I guess you can say his secrets to his success you know what he thinks uh Roman Reigns secrets to success is because pretty much after John Cena Roman Reigns has finally become the guy I know Vince had wanted him to be the guy many years ago but you know it just wasn't working he wasn't connecting with the fans but now finally he is the guy that uh that Vince McMahon has been wanting for so long to be the top of the company and pretty much top of the wrestling business, bro. Roman Reigns is that guy now. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Let's get right into this one. Should be a good one. Yeah. Was he a different guy when you came back? I mean, the character has evolved so tremendously. But you as, know the answer to that question. I yeah, ask come on, man. Perspective. You, you know the answer to that question. Come I mean, on, now. I hope it. To, to get him in a space to speak and have him not be able to craft what he wants to say mm -hmm. is a young man trying to find his way. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to where he doesn't have to say a fucking word. <laughs> That's a man who knows who he is. Simple. Roman Reigns has now become one of those guys that his facial reactions get a reaction <laughs> you guys remember when i believe it was jay who said i don't give a damn about the tribal chief and this was perfect framing from production from the hard cam side they zoomed in on roman reigns face everyone's oohing and on but what made it that much more impressive well not impressive but more impactful was his facial expressions he didn't say a word People just felt the energy shift. People felt the intensity coming. And that's just a testament to him just kind of being himself, an extension of himself. He doesn't, even on his promo abilities, they just seem smooth. They seem fluid. They don't seem forced. They don't seem like it's heavily written. It just seems like him just having a conversation out there in his character, and it works. So... John Cena is very correct on this one, bro. He doesn't have to say a word, and he gets a reaction now. And it's very interesting to see. Period. Is he a different human being? Yes. He authentically, I believe what Facts. he's doing. There we and go. This is why I was, I was really trying to hammer this home with theory. Like, it took Roman 10 years. Mm-hmm. Eight years. Eight years at the top pushed for eight years for the light bulb to go off and be like i'm doing it my way there i will go. work with who they say i will hit my times but i'm going to be who i really am and i'm going to take these facets and whether it was the pandemic that gave him his nuance because he's such a nuanced performer he's a he's a film performer in live entertainment mm -hmm. totally and i think maybe the absence of people not only allowed him to be more nuanced, but it killed the polarization. You can't boo him just because you want to be on TV with your audience that night. Because mm -hmm. there is no audience. And he's really good. And when you took away... Shout out to the homie with the, uh, the Jordan 4s on. I already know y'all going to make a little 4 jokes, but the most is cool. I actually want a pair of those particularly, but we'll see one day. <laughs> be that thing that that I built that, okay, the company's pushing this guy, go against him just to do the thing. Mm -hmm. But he's really good. Nah, forget it. It's going to be awesome. We're chaos. We rerun the asylum. I love that. But it doesn't help someone like Roman find confidence. Mm -hmm. And performing without an audience, in my mind, like you could just see a different human being. And everyone watching. And it's crazy. He makes a very good point here. 
him not being at that year's WrestleMania because he, you know, he didn't want to be, you know, he was dealing with uh, the stuff he was dealing with. He didn't want to, you know, potentially uh, put himself in health jeopardy because of the whole pandemic thing. Everything switched. If you guys seen that, I believe it's uh, Evil documentary where he talked about that. Um, that was one of my favorite episodes uh, from that season because he talked about when he came back, he pretty much let them know, look, the only way this is going to work is you got to let me do it my way now. He listened to events. He listened to management all of those years. He did it their way. This was the only way it was going to work. And it did. Once he turned heel, but it wasn't like he was just a heel for the sake of being heel. Like, oh, I'm just a bad guy now. No, he was actually like, he came off cool. He came off believable. Everything he said, everything he did, the shirts and the slogans that that were they were coming up with him, like from the stuff he was saying, it 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 came off believable. He didn't come off as a joke. He didn't come off as some corny tough dude, corny fake tough dude. He came off as someone that will wreck everyone and leave. And it worked. Watch him was like. And now they're they're into it because he's into it. I believe it. He doesn't have to go out there and say suffer and succotash anymore. Right. Thank goodness. He he gives of himself. He is himself. So whatever they want, build this issue with this person. I got it. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, and then, I mean. He's like super self-aware. He's aware of others. His ring awareness. Like, he, he's always been incredibly athletic. He's always been a sponge. Like, he's a very in intellectual individual as well. That's a lot. People don't necessarily know that about him. Like, he's super smart. And he just needed that perfect storm to get going. So mm -hmm. when I talk to somebody like Theory, who's got stars in his eyes and at 25 thinks he's got, you know, a, a long road in front of him, I'm like, man, you, you really need to start now failing. Oh, uh, yeah. we And we've seen that on the last clip. But yeah, no, John makes very great points here. It's it's kind of self-explanatory, man. Roman's character change, his confidence, how he moves in the ring. If you guys notice, Roman didn't talk like that when he was a babyface in the ring to his opponents. He, he did, but not as much as he does now. Now, he talks trash. That's picked up by the camera and maybe a few people that are in the front row you know that can actually hear but it's picked up by the camera so we hear it at home he's talking trash while he's serving up the beats that's one of my favorite things about him is the fact that he comes off believable he does he he's like this he's gotten to this point he's this cocky he buys into his his him being at the top of the car he knows he's the guy he knows he's the guy that management wants so let me buy into it let me just revel in it so when i'm having these matches against people i feel that i'm better than like yo bro i'm better than you i can do this all night ladies and gentlemen y'all y'all know who y'all here to see like he's doing that while destroying an opponent those little things when he used to you know saying well i think well he hasn't really sat down at like a table such a situation but when he would sit down at the table but instead he would move the chair or paul him and would move the chair to the top of the table to the head of the table those little nuances the way he he it's like he he revels in people acknowledging him everywhere he goes they have to acknowledge his greatness like it's just one of those things even the back and forth as the cool heel with the audience sometimes like it's just one of those things where he is coming to his own they don't have to say nothing to him in the back all he has to do they give him bullet points probably Paul Heyman works with him a little bit. They go out there and they do their thing. And that's it. And everything he says, it comes off believable and real to the fans to the point where there, there's, there's still people, even though he's a heel, that cheer him. He gets the right booze. He doesn't get the booze because we're tired of this guy being pushed. He gets the booze because of what his character has done. And at one point, he... When the fans did come back, he was getting a lot of cheers, and he was still a heel. So it's kudos to to John being able to, you know, realize that, you know, he 
he's he's the guy and there's no denying it whether you like roman reigns title reign or not he is the guy right now and hopefully you know wwe can have i mean i do feel like they have that next upcoming star they just gotta cultivate them and lit and really just kind of let them be themselves to an extent you know and, and let them kind of flourish too so comment down below let me know do you guys think after the few years we've had roman reigns as the top guy do you guys think he has carried the torch uh in a in a great way do you guys think the past few years that roman's been at the top has been some you know he's done the company right or do you guys think he's kind of you know he hasn't lived up to expectation me personally the this character of roman reigns we have the tribal chief has has been the best part of wwe he has carried wwe for these past few years on his back successfully i will say that the first few years of his career outside of the shield not so much this iteration of him fantastic man but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road 250k and i'm still the undisputed youtube wrestling champion i appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace